How's it going, guys? I'm going to show you the best Facebook Messenger AI chatbot that I have found. Um, I've been doing a lot of research trying to find a good one. I had a, uh, a client that I was making a proposal for um, to use a Facebook Messenger lead or AI chatbot uh, in their funnel. So they'd run Facebook ads, it goes to a Messenger chatbot, um, and then it books calls with their sales team. And I was just hitting my head against the wall trying to find uh, a really good, simple, effective one that usually utilizes a knowledge base so we can give the chatbot um, information about the business. I created one with make.com. Um, you can do it, but it's just not simple. And I wanted something that was already generated. Uh, and so I went and I found this one that I'll show you guys here in just a second. Let me share my screen. All right, so the chatbot is FastBots. I will put the link um, in the in the description below if you guys want to reach out or, or if you guys want to get a free trial on this one. Um, so yeah, I looked all over the place for a good AI chatbot. Uh, and there's a lot of great res uh, use cases for this. Running ads to your using your Facebook page, they're going to message your Facebook page, and then you want to actually, um, you know. Uh, educate and inform the the user the person reaching out to you about your product about whatever it is you're selling ultimately getting them to either purchase the product or or uh, schedule a call which is what we were doing here um and this chat bot was just it was the best one that i found i looked at a lot of them i even built one with make.com um and i like this this was simplest and the least expensive i think it was 29 dollars a month uh, yeah 29 dollars a month for the essential package uh so let me just walk you through it it's a chatbot. Um, it's an AI powered chatbot, and you can choose the AI that you want it to use. I'm using um, OpenAI chat, uh, OpenAI, or I think it's 40 Mini. Um, but it's great because you can give it training data, uh, which a lot of the chatbots for some reason don't do, like ManyChat, which is the most popular one. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't have this type of, or I wasn't able to figure out how to get it to uh, implement a knowledge base. I could get it, uh, you know, I could give it a knowledge base using make.com. Um, but if I was using make.com, I might as well just build my own and I didn't want to do that. And so this one has it built in. Uh, you can just implement or like the, you can put PDFs in here. Um, I built a knowledge base with chat and then I implement, I implemented it here based on the website. I put the website in here. And so this is all information that the chat bot can reference when having conversations with your potential customers. Um, it's really easy to do. All you got to do is just click add the link. And you got it here. You can do full website, web page, PDF, Word doc, all the stuff that you'd want, the YouTube video, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's one of the things that I liked about it. The, the knowledge base was built in. Um, and that was one of the criteria that I was using. ManyChat did not have that. I don't know. ManyChat, if you're listening, why not? <laughs> that's just so, so simple. Um, you can also add text in here. Uh, actually, this should not be in here. This is the prompt. Um, but you can add, add test, text. And then you can also add a uh, a Q and A. I did not add the Q and A, but um, but it is something that you can do, especially for common questions. Somebody reaches out, um, you know, they're talking about whatever a car that you're selling. Is it four wheel drive? Is it not four wheel drive? That's something that you can put in here. Um, so another thing that I really liked is the prompting. You can tune the AI. Uh, you can give it a prompt like you would in a normal, you know, if you're using something like SynthFlow or um, any other AI agent that you give it a prompt, you say, hey, this is who you are. This is how I want you to act. Um, you can do the same thing, same thing here. You can choose the model. I did 4.0 or 40 mini, um, but Claude is also another good one. You can do Gemini. Um, but yeah, the, the prompt is really what's, what's, useful here. Um, you tell it, give the AI instructions. I would actually use, um, use Claude, use chat GPT to, to create this prompt and then put it in there. And then, uh, in my prompt, I was saying your main goal is to answer questions and drive the, the user, the, the person you're messaging to a Calendly page. Um, so it's really easy to set up and then you can do the appearance and deployment, etc. Uh, those I didn't care about because I'm using it on Facebook, um, but you can integrate it with other platforms, WhatsApp, um, Instagram, yada, yada. And that's what I really liked about this. It was easy to do. Uh, it, you know, again, I made this on make, you can make it as complicated as you want. Um, but the reason I like this platform is it's, it's just simple. You integrate it and it works automatically. Um, you just, I just clicked connect and it, you know, you log into your page and you got it. Um, Instagram, WhatsApp, Slack, et cetera, et cetera. You can connect it to make, but if you're, again, if you're using make, you might as well just make your own. 
Um, so yeah, it does, it, it works perfectly. Um, it's sending the link here. Um, let's see if we can get it to get it to do something. So I, I, that's not a really good, uh, yep, there we go. So yeah, it'll, it'll respond pretty quickly. It does exactly what I'm asking it to, which is pushing the, the user to schedule a call. Um, so yeah, it's a really good platform. Um, FastBots is, uh, is, is the, the actual tool. And I'll, again, I'll put that link in the notes below. If you guys want to use that, if you have any questions, reach out. Um, yeah, that's it for this video.